to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. God is able. Prophesy to yourself. Say, God is able. Please say it, say it, say it and believe what you are saying. God is able. When you are saying it, think about that financial mountain. Say, God is able. Think about your health situation. God is able. And he's able to do it speedily because he said, what's yes thou? Are we together now? He says, I will hasten my word. God can give speed of performance to his word. I will hasten my word because destiny is measured by time there is a way god can give speed to a man to a people to help you redeem time call unto me and i will answer lord i bring before you my children there is need for your mighty hand upon their lives and he shows up in power lord grant us grace we are unable to focus on the matters of the kingdom because of these bills and these lawsuits and these financial situations and he shows up if you've been evil know how to give good gifts how much more will your heavenly father you stand before that mountain and all you need to do is to call him. When he comes, you step back and allow him with the mountain. And then he will show again that he is God of... Do you know, there's something I have learned about God. God likes fighting. There is something about God and battles. There is something about... About... The process of victory that brings him profound glory he likes the saints to see the process not just the result so many times he will ask you to watch while he makes a mess of the devil and situations and circumstances do you know it's really not the result that makes you praise him is how the result comes are we together most times if he just brings the result you may trivialize how it came so he will allow you to be there and you watch you watch dimensions of his wisdom beating down satan and situations and circumstances at a point you will no longer be interested in the result is a revelation of his glory and his love and his might that overwhelms you you will thank god for the result but it will no longer matter I've seen God do a few things in my life and honestly I can tell you there are things that God has done in my life that leaves me in awe and in wonder and he's given me the grace to preach and teach from the standpoint of that assurance and that confidence I don't claim to know everything about God but sincerely I will tell you there are some things I know one of it is that when god decides to invest his jealousy upon a man get out of the way because he will clear anyone and anything that stands that way so when you see god bring his power and his grace upon apostle goodheart upon this great ministry you will wait just when you think you've seen it all and then he says no i am god i will show you layers of my glory layers of my power this is very important the jealousy of god is a dimension that has hardly been studied in the body of christ when he says i am a jealous god that is good news jealousy is not a negative quality 
is what makes you protect and preserve without jealousy you cannot have attention and emotional connect towards anything and anyone hallelujah many of you have children you will be surprised that in spite of this crowd if you hear the voice the sound of your child your child's voice all of a sudden something in you is called jealousy It's more than compassion jealousy what's happening and you want to find out what is happening so when you lift up your voice that's like a child calling his father if you are a child indeed God should not be silent when he hears you speak if you are a son indeed the Bible says that Hagar cried together with her young lad and strangely before her voice got to heaven the voice of the young lad had reached the heavens and God came and said what is going on here and she began to lament and suddenly an oasis came out of a desert hallelujah I know that God can arise for those who take him serious those who pray is it all right if we pray this morning it takes discipline it takes faith to pray but I assure you if and when we pledge our lives to pray the Bible says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous it says it avails much it can produce power it can produce wonders I'm a product of the ministry of prayer I know what prayer can do if you pray and you pray with understanding and pray with faith you will disarm the powers of hell you will allow God to step in in dimensions beyond your imagination was it not in the book of Acts the Bible says how that the apostle was caught and kept in prison and then it says prayers were offered day and night in fact let's look at Acts chapter 12 and then we we'll arise to pray we need the God of wonders to show up for us Acts chapter 12 we're reading the first 10 verses verse 1 please Acts chapter 12 and verse 1 now about that time Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex Saturn of the church verse 2 and he killed James the brother of John with the sword and because he saw that it pleased the Jews he proceeded further to take Peter also then they were the days of unleavened bread uh-huh and when he had apprehended him the Bible says he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending that after Easter to bring him forth to the people Peter therefore was kept in prison but hallelujah but prayer was made without season keyword without season of the church unto God for him and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison uh-huh and behold an angel of the Lord came unto him in response to the prayer and a light shined in prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hands and the angel said to him gird thyself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he was thought he saw a vision verse 10 and when and they were past the first and the second word or the gate then they came to the iron gate I don't know if I've shared this revelation in this church this is a mysterious gate because this is the gate that leads to influence the iron gate is the gate that stops influence when that gate is open the next thing that happens to you is the city must acknowledge the investment of God upon your life please listen this is a very powerful mystery without influence you cannot do much for the kingdom 
you need visibility for your business you need visibility for ministry you need visibility It's one thing to be anointed is one thing to be called but it's another thing to be accepted and embraced that the dimension of god committed to you there is a demand upon it but i tell you in the realm of the spirit there are iron gates just because you left the prison does not mean you are free please keep that scripture there verse 10 he says he came to the iron gate that leaded unto the city which opened to them of its own accord and they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed there are people as we pray this morning your businesses you have products and services that if people knew listen my my one of the dimensions of god's wonder that i pray will happen as we pray this morning is the grace for visibility there is a grace that can unveil a man like you unveil a product from a carton and lift him up like a trophy and say hear ye him it's a grace it's a grace that can come as the wonder working power of god whilst we pray hallelujah it says and it was noised abroad that jesus had come your products there are so many people here respectfully speaking you have done your best in terms of your intellectual preparation all you need now is to be connected through the mystery of visibility to the men and the women who need what you stand for and look how difficult it is without that grace there are people today, there are people in this nation. Hallelujah. There are people in this nation. Honestly, if this grace should come upon them in addition to the value that they have, the demand that will be placed upon your life, your children and your children's children will eat from it. But that grace is not there. So many people die with gifts many people live with gifts there are some of you here you are not supposed to be where you are you are supposed to your your preparation demands that you should be in the palace there are worship ministers all across this nation sincere people well-meaning people but this grace for visibility is not there and they die with their gifts they sing you know i've heard a few people at a personal level and i I'm, I'm in shock why is the world not listening to you i have i have heard and seen men and women of god respectfully speaking i remember meeting i was uh, i think the, the eastern part of this nation and i had the opportunity to talk with a dear woman and whilst we spoke you know i mean this woman came to me for counseling and for prayer but then i just had some time of conversation and i was almost going down my knees to say madam pray for me I'm, i think i'm the one who needs your grace but the grace for visibility please take serious what i'm saying life will be hard until men can see and discern what you represent it was bishop oyedeko that gave a story when they started remember when they started living faith how that for some reason it looked like they would not break through this iron gate and one time they prayed and whilst they were praying and fasting the lord asked him to step out and then he looked up and he saw a thick layer of darkness he says this is the layer that misinterprets what you represent and he rebuked it in the name of the lord it rolled like a curtain and boom i know families that are under the siege of this absence of visibility great people wonderful people well-meaning people but doors never open so whilst we're praying i want you to be angry this morning that this iron gate the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder praise the name of the lord yes i believe this you only receive the reward of kings when god connects you to kings you cannot receive the reward of kings in the prison even if you are innocent oh joseph the prison is not the place for reward the prison is where both good and bad meet there it's a dangerous place to remain 
whether you are a wine presser whether you are an interpreter of dreams whether you are a baker if you are in the prison it's a place of confinement but you must trust god for the grace that makes the king to send for joseph and the king sent for joseph and the bible says they brought him out of his dungeon the holy spirit is ministering to someone this morning because though for you the wonder that god wants to do in your life is to use your life as an answer to someone who whether in the secret or in the open said can anything good come out of this family and they are right except that you came from this conference the god of wonder is about to show up in a way and make a definite statement do you believe that please rise up on your feet i like you to be patient while we pray because we are going to pray prayer is powerful i came standing in faith with the grace over this house so that we will make some things happen in our lives my god is able to do just what he says don't sing listen he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you yes your part now don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he's able god is able listen in this bible people had their situations turned overnight they slept as prisoners and by the end of the next day they were in the palace whilst you pray please let your heart be open god you are able to do this for your business for your life for your children don't be silent are we together lift your voice and we're going to pray in the spirit for some time praise the lord this this is a personal affair just take some time so am, am i is it all right all right so i've been given the permission to stretch us a bit and let us pray so that we can have real results in our lives in the name of jesus christ please lift your voice and let's pray in the spirit everywhere inside outside those following online we're going to pray please forget about who is but at your left or right just just lift your voice and pray Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lift your voice and pray. The God of wonders. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. Pray. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you. my life must change my destiny must reveal the glory the power the grace of god are you praying rogic 
those who are following from whatever nation please take time to pray participate follow in prayer call on to me and i will answer says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it meaning you can never have what you have not received you only have what you have received it says what things soever now in one minute I, I like you to lift up your voice that issue of concern that seems to defy the name of the lord in your life in the next five minutes i'd like you to lift up your voice before i bring prayer points lift your voice and cry before your maker in faith knowing that there is a god who can answer go ahead and pray go ahead and pray some of you are trusting god to reveal himself as a god of increase some of you are trusting god for speed trusting god for restoration don't be silent I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth the maker of heaven and earth the maker of heaven and earth the maker of destiny the maker of businesses the maker of ministries Oh, you are not wasting your time, I assure you.
Please pray. The heavens are open over us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. We'll pray for a few minutes. And then I'll begin to minister by the Spirit. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. There are walls we need to break down. And trust God to give us visitations. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Please read with me if you can see. Ready? Read. Wherefore? We would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, your breakthrough would have arrived before now. Wherefore, the answer to your prayer would have come before now. The God of wonders being made manifest, but it looked like he was a boss in office. It looked like it was some sort of sociological phenomenon, but the Bible says Satan hindered us are you ready to pray you're going to decree and declare that every hindrance that stands between you and the next dimension that may the god of wonders arise and show up smashing everything that does not name the name of christ lift your voice and begin to pray please pray with faith pray with power pray with faith pray with power every hindrance in the name of Jesus, I come against every hindrance, every mountain. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Career mountains, spiritual mountains, financial mountains. Mountains stopping your influence and your visibility. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah! Paris Calibranda Gaduzia. Exodus chapter 14. The Bible says, once upon a time, we read 13, 14, and 15. The Bible says, the nation of Israel, watch this. It was already a miracle that after 430 years, by the manifestation of the God of wonders, after the last plague, Pharaoh let them go. And whilst they were on their way with joy, suddenly Pharaoh said, I made a mistake. I will have to be on my way back. Did you know that what left you yesterday is still looking for you? And the Bible says they got to a point where behind them were a, an angry, angry Egyptian warriors with their chariots. And before them was the Red Sea. They needed the manifestation of the God of wonders. And Moses said unto the people, 
fear not stand still and see the salvation of the lord which he will show you when today you can choose another day but i make up my mind today it says for the egyptians kabarus kiabata this is a word for someone the egyptians the disappointment i know it happened in 2013 14 15 don't get used to pain don't get used to disappointment god is about to show up he said the egyptians whom ye have seen today you shall see them again no more forever verse 14 the lord the god of wonders now there are times that he gives you grace to fight but there are times that he says this battle this battle please take it for me higher guys my spirit is fired up on this altar my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by verse 14 please give it to us the lord the god of wonders there are times listen there are times that he will give you grace to walk on water but there are times you say get out of the way this battle has insulted my reputation in your life stand back the lord shall fight for you your own assignment is to hold your peace hallelujah the lord said unto moses wherefore criest thou unto me i'm standing by the grace of god and in faith with apostle goodhart and his wife it says speak to the children of israel that they go forward you are about to pray don't make this place rowdy but some of you may need to take prophetic steps and you are declaring in the name of jesus i refuse to remain here god of wonders arise push me forward i need advancement in my life is someone praying lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray it's time to break open break loose from the left to the right it's time to move forward the god of wonders is arising for you in the name of Jesus in my spiritual life I am moving forward I declare that in ministry I am moving forward breaking boundaries in the name of Jesus in business I am moving forward someone is praying from the depth of your heart if you can pray God is able to show up as a God of wonders hallelujah in the name of jesus we're still praying first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 i sense there is a grace moving someone forward honestly first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 read with me please if you are a believer ready read and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of egypt people don't just move forward in this kingdom there is an invisible hand that moves businesses that moves ministries someone lift your voice and cry oh god god of wonders advance me advance me advance me lift your voice and pray it was the lord that advanced Moses it was the Lord that advanced Aaron it was the Lord that advanced Rogic it was the Lord that advanced Apostle Goodhart it was the Lord that advanced the membership Shit 
la capranda gadaba la cosiada. Praise the Lord. You are not wasting your time. Psalm 45 verse 12. Something is happening to someone. Psalm 45 verse 12. I receive it for myself. Psalm 45 and verse 12. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. It says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. Someone is about to pray. God of wonders, give me visibility. Let the Gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising. Lift your voice and begin to pray. The Bible says the daughter of Tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor. Hallelujah. 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 Please look up. One of the reasons why God steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time. No matter what you lose, if you have time, you did not lose. No matter what you have, if you lose time, you lost. Are we together? destiny listen carefully please destiny is a function of time we have time that is allocated and for some reason for various reasons we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time so god made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint one is called restoration the second is called speed this these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time, eventually you will find expression. We are going to pray these two things. It says, and I will restore years. The first restoration you need is not things. I will restore years. Number two, the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Jezreel. You are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed. My goodness, imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together work in your life. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration. My life is experiencing speed. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Speed. Speed. Oh, I will overtake, I assure you. Go ahead. Pray. Speed. Speed. Kaparus ke manakata. Speed in my destiny. Speed in my life. Speed in ministry. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Speed in business. When the reaper overtakes the sower, a dimension of speed. Please believe what you are praying. There is grace here. Believe what you are praying. These are not empty words. Believe what you are praying. You are programming spiritual realities. I assure you. Kepada kata bronda skabana, embrekete kato basele da bosh, lekete pratos kebade katosh, zekete kete kete kete, embrakatos kote brekete ya. In the name of Jesus, restoration, 
by the God of wonders restoration in the name of Jesus and the fortunes of Job were restored to him the fortunes of Job were restored to him declare speed over your life Lord give me speed give me speed give me speed don't be tired we're praying you came here to pray you came here in this conference to provoke spiritual realities in your life Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Two more prayers. Ah! Calibranda Gatosiata. Esther chapter 6. Esther chapter 6. Something is about to happen to someone. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. Please give it to us. On that night could not the king sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that Mordecai that Joshua Selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget Joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget but God remembers keep that scripture there the Bible says two of the king's chamberlains the keepers of the door they sought to slay the king verse 3 the king said what honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this listen to me there are times in our lives where we give our best some of us have served people for years some of us raised many children they are in privileged positions today and by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for Mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done I hope you know it was not only Mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when God is ready to lift you he will single you out you are about to pray say after me in the name of Jesus father I declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me my family my destiny and every reward you have preordained I command it to appear in my life lift your voice and begin to pray father for the things that I have done for your kingdom I gave to the work of the Lord for the things that I have done for your kingdom let a book of remembrance be open please pray let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open over my ministry let the book of remembrance be open over my business over my company over my firm let the book of remembrance be open over my family let the book of remembrance be open over my destiny in this season arise oh god of wonders arise oh god of wonders show up in a way and a manner 
that all and sundry will know that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.